It's a really scary time in this country. First the pandemic. A global pandemic. Coronavirus has paralyzed the U.S. economy. The isolation was crushing. Stay at home, that is the order. The coronavirus crisis is changing so fast. These maps can't keep up. Every day feeling like the last. Largest quarantine in the history of the world. Feeling alone and powerless as we just watch the world go by and fall apart. A hideous day on Wall Street, a market's plunging. A grim new death toll and frightening new projections. Feeling like everything was just out of our control. I am officially declaring a national emergency. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Then that desolation turned into anger as the world witnessed what happened to George Floyd. Breaking news out of Minneapolis. A black man died yesterday in police custody. George Floyd repeatedly told the officers that he could Protests not breathe. Protests clashing with police in Minneapolis. It is unbelievable to see what is happening in almost every single major city in this country. If we want change, our generation has to step up right now. After seeing what I saw today, my blood is boiling right now. I saw them tear gas a whole crowd of people today for peacefully walking. Tomorrow, Tuesday, June 2nd, we are hosting a basketball peaceful protest in Philly. We are bringing the hoop out, and we are gonna ball in the streets. Because that is the best way I know how to spread love. That is the best way I know how to bring people together. No justice! No peace! Just the idea of going out during these times was really, really nerve wracking. Like, I didn't know how people were gonna take it. I wanted people to understand right from the start what I was doing and why I was doing it. We're trying to bring this city back together. That's what this is for right now. Sports can bring people together. So come on, y'all, let's play some basketball. I also wanted them to understand that, like, I was paying attention to COVID-19 and was trying to take precautions in that as well. I had masks for people if they wanted them. I had hand sanitizer. Got out there, all the anxiety and nervousness kind of faded as soon as the first person started to play. You don't want to give me a jump shot, I'm telling you right now. Oh, Me and my brother, we was actually downtown protesting, and we just happened to see her, and she said, you guys want to take a shot? Her whole goal is for everyone just to come together and have fun and enjoy, like, you know, have a good time. I was just playing with five people I've never met before in my entire life, and I may see them again, I may not, but for that few moments we were playing together, we were united as one. Oh, my God, that's what feels so good. <laughs> Playing really kind of eased the tension of the crowd. I saw people coming in passionately protesting, right, which is important. But then when they came to us, you know, a big smile came up on their face. They were like, oh, it's a hoop, like, I want to play too. People drive by, smiling, like, get out the car, want to take a shot, want to play basketball. She inspires people, she brings people together. Out of all the people, pick you up. Look how tall he is. He's going to get you right up to the basket. Oh, oh. Right? People always say, like, ball is life, and, like, that's, like, very true for me, you know? There's nothing in the world that I love more than basketball. It's kind of the one thing that kept me together as a kid. When I was born, I wasn't supposed to be able to walk, so my legs were turned completely in. So I had cast on for the first three years of my life. A lot of my memories growing up were just me being in a lot of pain. The doctor said, Maybe we'll get her walking again, but she'll never be able to play sports or, you know, run or anything like that. See, my parents didn't really like that answer, <laughs> and they put me in every sport possible. And I guess basketball just kind of stuck. The struggle helped me appreciate being able to play basketball the most. Every time I walk on a court, I'm just happy that I can go out there and, and play the way that I play. Okay, you want to give me the left? Are you the same we got the W's. Ain't nobody can check her. <laughs> People take her lightly because she's a girl, but she pretty much ends up beating them. I'm six foot four. I've been playing basketball my entire life. Do not sleep on that girl. <laughs> Trust me. police officers, I pretty much call them out. I'm like, you want a ball? You want to play? You want to play with me? Like, let's go. Let, let's play. Oh! 
that initial person will break that ice, and then all of the police officers want to take a shot or they want to somehow get involved. It's a real good thing for the city. And to bring people together of all ages, I'm almost 50 years old, so I'm out here playing with kids. Protesters and cops playing one-on-one, two-on-two, just, just talking. I think that's very powerful to me. That speaks volumes. If you think that bringing out a hoop will start changing attitudes and that will bring people together, I said, go ahead, girl, do that. And I hope more people do positive things like this so that we can bring our city of Philadelphia community as well as around the world back together. I've had people come to me being like, why are you playing with the police? I think the problem with that is yelling at the police officers wasn't going to create the change. We're all in this community together. It's all about just breaking that tension, creating like a place for people to be able to come out and just be happy and enjoy themselves. Just something about a basketball, like, just friendly. It's like a universal language. Yeah, we're so glad you're here. Hey, appreciate you. I really do believe that sports can bring people together and unite people. I've seen how all these people of different like races, ethnicities, gender, ages, everything, right? They all come together and they're all standing around watching or they want to get involved. Bringing a basketball hoop is not going to end racism. I 100% know that that's not the case. We're just trying to break the tension so that maybe we can come together as a community and find the, the right solutions to get to a better place in our country and in our society.